Welcome back to the garage, gang. Time for another token teardown. If you are new here, this is where we roll a crypto project into the bay, put it up on the lift, and see if it has real muscle under the hood. Today's project on the lift is Ecomi, ticker OMI, the engine behind Vivi, one of the most successful digital collectible platforms in the world. And this one comes straight from you. This teardown was a viewer request. Oh yes, don't worry. We will talk price predictions because everyone always asks. But first, what's really going on with this coin? What does it actually do? And most importantly, do we even want to give it space in our bag? And before we drop this one into gear, smash that like, hit follow, and share this with your buddy who just bought his first NFT and thinks Immutable X is a comic book publisher, or your cousin who still believes staking is something you do to a vampire. Because in this garage, we keep it simple. Is Ecomi a Ford Shelby GT500, a powerhouse of engineering built for performance and precision, or just another overhyped car with no torque? Let's find out. The Ecomi pit crew has some serious mileage behind them. The project was co-founded in 2018 by David Yu, Dan Crothers, and Joseph Janik. Yu is the driver, a lifelong collector and entrepreneur who's been running gaming and collectibles businesses since the 90s. Crothers is the engineer, the builder behind the VV app, the guy who made sure it actually runs. In 2024, Ecomi brought on Ben Rose, a former Binance general manager, as co-CEO beside you, a move that brought communication and growth focus to a team previously seen as product heavy. That's a big addition to the garage. Then there's Al Khan, the licensing legend who brought Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! and the Ninja Turtles to the West. He's Ecomi's head of licensing, and his network opened doors to Disney, Marvel, and DC, names that most crypto projects could only dream of signing. The team is public, clean record, and mostly based between Singapore and New Zealand. They didn't raise big VC rounds. Instead, they built VV the old-fashioned way, bootstrapped and revenue-driven. That's rare in crypto and says a lot about their approach. So under the hood, this pit crew knows collectibles and branding inside out. The question is, does the token that powers it, Omi, have the same horsepower? Here's where the rubber meets the road. Ecomi's flagship product, Vivi, bridges fandom and blockchain. It lets users buy officially licensed digital collectibles from giants like Disney, Marvel, DC, Star Wars, and Lamborghini, all inside a sleek mobile app with augmented reality showrooms and a built-in social feed. The idea was simple but powerful. Make NFTs accessible to normal people. No gas fees, no complex wallets. Just buy gems with a credit card and own your favorite hero. That's the fuel that powered Vivi past 2 million active users and more than 10 million collectibles sold. Under the hood, Ecomi's tech has evolved from GoChain to Ethereum Layer 2, via Immutable X, which uses zero-knowledge rollups for near-zero gas fees and carbon-neutral NFT minting. OMI is now a standard ERC-20 token, bridged across Ethereum and IMX, giving it a proper foundation in the mainstream crypto stack. The architecture is clean. VV app on iOS, Android, and web handles drops, markets, and AR showrooms. Immutable X for Layer 2 NFT minting and instant trading. Omi token for ecosystem value capture through burns, staking, and in-app perks. Performance-wise, Vivi is one of the few NFT projects with actual revenue, more than $100 million in primary sales. In 2021 alone, and millions in secondary market fees since. So, in car terms... Ecomi's Vivi is already a GT500 that's hit the track and proven it can win races. The question now is whether Omi, its fuel system, can keep up as it scales. Now let's slide under the car and see what this thing's really built on. Ecomi's tech stack has evolved over time. It started life on GoChain back when Ethereum was too slow and expensive for mass adoption. GoChain offered faster, cheaper transactions, but it was always a temporary fix. As the platform grew, Ecomi migrated everything to Ethereum Layer 2 through Immutable X, 
giving the system the horsepower it needed for scale. Immutable X is built on Starkware's zero-knowledge roll-up technology, meaning every VVNFT transaction happens on a secondary layer, fast, cheap, and carbon neutral, and then gets verified back on Ethereum for security. Think of it like a dual-clutch transmission. One gear handles speed, the other locks in safety. Over the past year, Ecomi has continued tuning the engine. New Omi Bridge, a fresh bridge now connects Immutable X to Base Layer 2, letting users move Omi between ecosystems more easily and expanding liquidity options. Stackar Marketplace Integration, VB collectibles are now tradable on Stackar using Omi directly, a big step in giving the token real-world usage beyond the app. System optimizations, continuous app upgrades, faster search, improved drop queues, new crafting features, keep the VV app tuned and responsive. Here's how it all works together. VV app, built in Unity for 3D and AR, it's the cockpit where collectors buy, sell, and show off their digital models. Immutable X layer, handles NFT minting and trading with zero gas. Ethereum mainnet, the backbone for final settlement and OMI's ERC20 base. Bridges, move Omi between Ethereum, IMX, and Base for trading and in-app utility. Secure Wallet, the Bluetooth-enabled hardware wallet by CoolBitX, built for collectors who want cold storage security. Smart contracts on Immutable X and Ethereum track every burn, trade, and bridge movement, ensuring that when a collectible is sold, the right amount of Omi exits circulation automatically. From a design standpoint, Ecomi's hybrid structure balances accessibility and decentralization. Vivi feels like a Web2 app. Fast, intuitive, credit card friendly, but it runs on a fully Web3 infrastructure now expanded across multiple chains. In short, this system runs like a Shelby GT500's drivetrain, tuned for mass adoption, built to deliver power efficiently and constantly upgraded to handle more torque. Now let's pull into the pit lane and look at the token itself. Omi's total adjusted supply sits around 310 billion tokens, down from 750 billion after multiple burns and tokenomics cleanups. Roughly 270 billion are circulating. Supply is fixed, no inflation, and ongoing burns make it deflationary. Token utility now runs on five gears. Transaction medium. Omi can now be used directly through the Stacker Marketplace. And starting late 2025, users can even convert Omi into gems for VV purchases, effectively turning the token into spendable in-app currency. Burn mechanism. Every sale on VV and Stacker burns Omi, tightening supply with each transaction. Staking and loyalty. The Master Collector Program now includes OMI rewards. Users earn bonus MCP points, bronze tickets, and perks for depositing and holding OMI in the VV Web Wallet. Governance. Future on-chain voting planned for community input on features and treasury allocations. Cross-chain mobility. With the new bridge to Base L2, OMI isn't confined to one network. It can move where the action is. Ecomi also recently burned 5.6 billion OMI tokens from its business development fund, removing them permanently to tighten supply. A deflationary adjustment akin to lightening the car before the next race. Unlike speculative DeFi tokens, OMI's demand is grounded in real usage. Millions of fans buying NFTs through Vivi, transactions on StackR, and staking inside the ecosystem. Each action drives real token movement and long-term scarcity. So while the token started as a quiet passenger in 2021's NFT hype, it's now stepping into the driver's seat, connected, deflationary, and fully wired into the VV economy. So how does the system actually trade? VV is a hybrid, part centralized app for ease of use, part decentralized backbone for authenticity. Like a DEX, users hold NFTs in custodial wallets linked to verified accounts. Immutable X handles all NFT minting and trading on-chain. OMI tokens can be bridged in or out through Layer 2 and Base for multi-chain flexibility. Like a CEX, the interface is slick and fast. Drops sell out in seconds. Orders match off-chain for instant execution, then settle on-chain for verifiable ownership. 
KYC is required for cash outs and fiat on ramps, keeping it compliant and secure. Users can buy collectibles using fiat, crypto, or OMI directly. They can trade on the secondary market, join auctions, and even showcase collections in AR, something few crypto projects have delivered at scale. Recent upgrades have fine-tuned the driving experience. The Stackar Marketplace now extends VV's trading floor, letting users list and buy with OMI across a broader ecosystem. The VV Web Wallet syncs seamlessly with Layer 2 and Base, cutting bridge time to seconds. Drop mechanics like the new waitlist system and improved notifications make buying smoother for fans and collectors. So whether you're holding ETH, SOL, or just a credit card, you can buy into VV's ecosystem with ease. It's one of the cleanest bridges between Web 2 and Web 3 collectibles ever built. Bottom line, VV is a hybrid exchange for digital culture. OMI is its gas, burned with every collectible sold, circulating as both a utility token and a loyalty badge for the platform's fans. Now let's open it up on the straightaway. How far can this thing go in a $20 trillion total crypto market? Scenario one, cruise control. Ecomi maintains its current market share and keeps growing gradually with the broader NFT rebound. Market cap doubles to around $180 million. Price around six tenths of a thousandth of a dollar. VV keeps adding brands, maybe three to four million users and OMI slowly gains more staking traction. This is steady highway cruising, reliable growth, no nitrous. Scenario two, 1% dominance. VV secures a new blockbuster IP, maybe Pokemon, maybe another cultural giant, and NFTs come back into style. OMI utility is fully live, staking drives demand, and a Binance listing adds visibility. Market cap could hit 1 billion, Price around three to four tenths of a cent. Hundreds of millions of transactions, billions of OMI burned. And Ecomi becomes the default digital collectibles platform. Scenario three, Moonshot. OMI becomes the default digital fandom token. VVverse launches the metaverse where you can walk around your AR showrooms with friends wearing Apple Vision Pro. Market cap north of 300 billion. Price over six tenths of a cent. Billions of users and brands integrated. This is the GT500 hitting the nitrous switch, leaving everything else in the dust. Scenario four, Black Swan. NFT fatigue returns. Regulations tighten or licensors pull back. VV's growth slows and OMI adoption stalls. Market cap drops to 30 million. Price around one tenth of a thousandth of a dollar. The engine still runs, but it's idling in the garage, waiting for the next trend. And just to be clear, none of this is financial advice. Lulu, our head of technical analysis, yes, she's a pig, four hooves and a curly tail, but a nose for charts, reminds everyone, leverage can turn a Shelby into scrap metal fast. Do your own research and drive safe. Lulu's Dido scorecard, tech stack, 9.5 cross-chain capability, Ethereum IMX base, New bridges and seamless stack R integration put Ecomi ahead of most NFT platforms. The infrastructure is clean, fast, and constantly upgraded. Crew, eight, same strong leadership. David Yu, Ben Rose, Al Khan, experienced and doxed. They've proven staying power and keep delivering. Tokenomics, eight, the recent 5.6B burn, Live OMI to GEMS conversion and real staking rewards turned OMI's tokenomics from theoretical to functional. It's now deflationary, multi-chain, and genuinely used inside the ecosystem. Product delivery, nine. VV continues to drop licensed IP weekly, maintain uptime, and ship features like waitlist drops, crafting, and marketplace enhancements. Execution is consistent. Community, eight. The VV fam remains strong. 2 million plus active collectors and renewed excitement after OMI utilities went live. Engagement is high across socials and drops. Narrative, eight, the digital collectible story cooled post NFT mania, but AR, metaverse, and real brand integration keep Ecomi positioned for the next hype cycle. Adoption, 9.5 OMI is now usable across Vivi and StackR. The bridge to base opens new liquidity and exposure. 
Ecomi remains one of the most adopted consumer NFT platforms globally. Regulatory 7, still based in Singapore, fully KYC AML compliant through partners and proactively adjusted token mechanics to avoid securities classification. Alpha potential, 8.5. If NFT and AR adoption rebound, OMI could see outsized returns given its working product and deflationary supply. Final Dino score, 8.4 out of 10. A tuned Shelby GT500 with fresh oil and a lighter chassis. Faster, leaner, and ready for the next lap. And that's the teardown on Ecomi, the Shelby GT500 of digital collectibles. Props again to Christian, our research chief, for fueling this analysis. Now we want your feedback. Check out GuruCryptoGarage.Guru. It's free. It's our way of giving back, and we're trying to make it better every day. If you think it sucks, let us know. If you think it helps, let us know that too. We read every single comment. If there's a project you want up on the lift next, drop it in the comments below. We read them all, and the next teardown might just be yours. Make sure you smash that like, hit follow, and share this with your fellow DGENs. Most important, let it rip. Garage out.